Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today I'm going to be working on a St. Patrick's Day farmhouse decor piece. I'm going to be using this shamrock tear that I had actually made a few months ago. And I'm going to just finish painting it with some white chalk paint. And then I actually had put it together with the toilet plungers from Dollar Tree. Now all of the decorations on here except those little wood pieces are from Dollar Tree. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take these little tumbler blocks and I'm just going to glue them together to make a small little picture frame. And then it's a really simple design. I'm going to be taking some of the scrapbooking paper that I already had on hand and I'm just going to pop that in behind those and just make a simple little picture where I can put some of these letters from Dollar Tree on here. Now after I get my frames put together, I'm going to be taking that Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to water it down to make a stain. And I'm just going to let these kind of soak in there. I want them to get a little bit dark just because I'm going to be setting them on the white tear tray and I thought the contrast would look really good. Now I found this rainbow in that crafter square section and it has a little tea light that lights up in there but I removed that and decided just to use the front of it. And I'm going to go ahead and stain this and then I'm going to do something really fun with this one. It's a really cute little rainbow with the pot of gold so you'll have to let me know what you think of this one. Now after I get everything wiped down really well with the baby wipe to remove that excess on there, I'm just going to dry it really well with my heat gun. And you do want to make sure that you dry that wood really well, especially before you glue it back together because I had to re-glue a couple of them because they were still wet. Now I decided to take these foam cauldrons and I'm going to cut them down to fit just barely over one side of the clouds and then I'm going to be painting the other side with the white to kind of make the clouds stand out. And you'll have to cut that down a few times just to get it to fit. It worked the best for me when I folded it in half. Now I'm going to be taking those little coins and just have them kind of like they're shooting right up out of that cauldron and it just made the cutest design. I did decide to go over this one with some of the white chalk paint and you probably could have not done that on the rainbow part but I did go back with a gold marker and a black marker just to give it a little bit of detail and I do really like how it turned out. But I thought this was a fun way to take this farmhouse look and add it to our St. Patty's Day decor piece. And I don't know if very many of you decorate for St. Patrick's Day. I've started doing it a little bit, especially since I did a DNA and found out that I have a lot of Irish. <laughs> so I just thought it would be a fun decor piece. And I also really love the green color tones that they're coming out with now. So that was another reason that I went ahead with this design. Now I'm going to be using some of this decorative shred paper and I just like the way it looked and I really like the color tone and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some of my rope twine and just tie it around the bottom there and just kind of make it look like it's shooting up a little bit from the cloud and I really just did that because I like the color of it and I wanted to add it into the rainbow. But I thought this made it just a really cute little decor piece and I was really trying to play up all these different green tones in this and I think it turned out great. I'm going to take this scrapbooking paper that I had on hand. I can't remember when I got this, but it was in my craft box. 
And I'm not even gonna bother putting a piece of foam board behind it or anything. You could actually do that if you want to. But St. Patty's Day is such a short little thing. Knowing me, I'll end up taking this stuff apart and making something else out of it. But I'm just gonna add the shamrocks on here. And then I found these little gel stickers and I just end up popping one of those on here and left it just really simple. Sometimes I like to do those, just really, really simple designs because once you add them into the rest of your decor, everything just kind of comes together. Now for our next little picture, I'm just gonna be taking some of the old wood look in the gray tones. I wanted to pull a little bit of that in there. And I'm gonna be using those dark green letters that I had purchased at Dollar Tree. And I think I end up putting the word lucky and I do one that says kiss me on there. But just wanted to add a couple of the little Irish sayings. And what I'll probably do with the rest of these letters is I'm just gonna take some white chalk paint or some black and just paint over the whole sheet. And then that way, it'll turn my letters the white color or the black and I'll be able to use them for some of my other decor pieces. Now on the second one here, I'm just going to put Kiss Me on this one. I was going to put Kiss Me on Irish, but I couldn't fit that on this little thing. So I thought, just Kiss Me would just be fine. <laughs> Now for our next little piece to go on our tear tray, I found this cute little card at Dollar Tree and then I decided to go ahead and just use this black picture frame. I was going to paint over that, but I had a lot of black in my house with the gray, so I am so sorry I didn't realize you could see me in there. <laughs> got my hair all pinned up today but I'm just gonna go ahead and save the lettering and I'm gonna use that actually on the jar that we're gonna make at the end but I'm just gonna trim my picture down to fit and just a really simple little thing I'm just gonna pop it on there so we can set it up to display Now the next thing I'm gonna do is take this green coffee cup that I found at Dollar Tree, and I just love that color of the green. And then I'm gonna be using some of these shamrock leaves, and I'm just gonna make a really simple little bouquet, and then just use some of the little white flowers for a pop of brightness. And of course, I've got my pool noodle down in there. I just love using those pool noodles to uh, put the flowers in. And like I said, you don't have to be too picky with this. Just pop those in there like some little wildflowers growing. And then we're actually gonna take some more of that spread paper and just pop that kind of real loosely coming out of the bottom. And then I do take and add some of the rope twine around the cup. And then I'm gonna take one of the little coins and glue it off of the side of the cup just for a little something dangling down and I think it turned out to be just a cute little accent piece once again for our tear tray. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that decorative shred paper in there. And like I said, I'm just gonna very loosely have it hanging out. And that was intentional. I just wanted little pieces of it hanging over the cup. A 
Okay, for our next accent piece, I'm gonna be taking these foam shamrocks and those wood cubes that I stained, and I'm gonna be gluing those to the back of the shamrocks so I can have them look like they're kind of just floating and standing up on their own. Now, I did end up going back and taking a tiny little stick and gluing it across the back, and it actually just helped it stand up a little bit straighter. They stood up okay with just the little wood cube, but if you kind of had a, any kind of breeze, they would bend over a little bit. So I would suggest as, adding a little toothpick or something maybe to the back. But I loved how these turned out, and I will definitely be keeping my eye open for more of these little foam pieces now that I come up with this idea, because I think it's just a neat way to add just that little tiny accent pieces here and there through your decor. And you could always paint these with the white chalk paint, and you could also add several layers of them together to make it a little more sturdy. But it worked out great for this one, and you'll have to let me know what you think. Okay everyone, on our last little DIY accent piece, I'm just gonna take one of these jars that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna wrap it in some of that green burlap ribbon, and then I'm gonna take that card that has the wishing you a perfect St. Patrick's Day, and I'm just gonna cut that out in the shape of a heart, and I'm gonna glue that onto the front, and then I'm gonna do some accents on this with lots of rope twine, and I'm gonna use some more of that decorative shred paper. And I also add some of those little coins. I had a couple of those left. And then I take that decorative shred paper and do that same thing where I just kind of loosely pile it on top. And I was really just trying to pull out all those green tones and I thought that that would look really neat on that white tear tray shelf. Well everyone, I may do one more St. Patty's Day, but it will be a wreath for the door and then I'll go back to the spring and Easter decor. But you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you do like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up because that really does help YouTube notice my channel a little bit more. And remember that I am going to do a drawing for a giveaway basket of the Dollar Tree items when I hit the 2,500 subscribers. And then I'll also be doing another drawing when I hit the 3,000 subscribers. So don't forget to share with your friends everybody and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I hope you would consider doing so and if you are a subscriber I thank you so much for your support. Let's go ahead and finish up this last little accent piece for our tear tray and then I've got a short little clip at the end where you can see it all decorated and where I decided to display it in my home. Now the last thing I'm going to do to our little jar is I'm just going to take that ribbon that I removed from the hat and wrap it around the jar and then I'm actually going to display the hat on the side of my picture. But here's our little video clip everyone and I hope you enjoyed this St. Patrick's Day DIY and I will see you on the next one. Have a great week.